Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're doing Among Us Real Life Crafts. If you ever thought if if you ever seen Among Us, it's a game where it's like you so solve puzzles and try to figure out who the imposter is. Crewmates are supposed to finish tasks to win or they freaking kill the imposter to win by voting them out during discussion time. The only time to get discussion is during an emergency meeting, which you can find that usually in the cafeteria mainly, or you can um, find a body and report it. Right? And the imposter is supposed to kill everyone to win. So, if you, and if you ever wonder like me, that, like, if you ever wanted to do an Among Us real life, you should probably watch this craft. Because we're going to create the Prime Shield task. If you don't know what that task is, you find it in Shields. What you're supposed to do is there's, like, five hexagons, six, five hexagons, I don't know. But you're supposed to turn them all white by clicking them with your mouse or finger if you're on mobile or mouse if you're on PC. And I don't know how many hexagons there are, but I'm going to just show you how to do it. So first off, you want scissors and plain white paper. And what you want to do is, if you don't have a big paper, just cut them in small hexagons. Don't cut them in big ones, just cut them in decently small ones. You want about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, I think. I suggest you just cut them out first before you color, which you're gonna have to do if you're going to do this, make this task a real thing. Which you're gonna have to color this with one side red to make this a real task if we're going to do a real life among us. And I have like, half an hour to do this, so I'm only doing one video right now before I have to go back to school. I got two hexagons. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. But I'm also trying to go slow so you guys can understand what's going on. It's a terrible hexagon, but it's a hexagon, so, yeah. Four. We need three more hexagons. Here, I'm gonna lay them out like the task. So you go like this. Yeah, you need seven hexagons for sure. I might have to make a small hexagon if I'm going to do this. If you guys
that's a terrible hexagon. Very bad. But, as I said, it's a hexagon. And you just need hexagons. Bro, if there was lines, this would be so much easier to cut out. Alright, once you've cut out all the hexagons, all seven of them, you don't need them anymore, okay? But you're going to need a marker. Okay, so let's just get that out of here right now. Now, what you're going to need to do is color one side of each hexagon red. Just color it red to where, like... We're gonna have to think of something for like the outfits because that'll be hard. I think we'll just have to go with shirt color and not have like the same shirt or anything. Oh crap. That looks pink. Oh crap. My brother is a very fast color. I could probably have him help me do this, but he's in school, like school, school. Like he went to school, he's not here. He's not virtual like I am. People say like it's dumb. You just do real life Among Us. You have the game and you could like me create it and all about any games like Minecraft or something like that. But people just want to... They, they like the game. They want to see how if they can do it in real life. Um, I don't think my game is going to have vents. Because killing vent is a very good strategy. It's a popular one also. But I don't know where I'm going to put the vents. Definitely not gonna make a whole area for just the imposter. And besides, it take too long to go through the vent, so you can probably get caught. And if I was doing vents, I probably have to do like one way glasses, one way something, so like the imposter can see like if we should go out the vent or not, because the crewmates could just look at the vent. And be like, hey, I, the imposter go, can only go to the vent, so it's him. He just came out of one. I feel like I would just do a small window or something and make it big enough to where they could just kneel down and go into it. But that'd be too hard. So I don't think I'm going to do event craft for Among Us real life. I think I'm just going to make like 10 tasks. Then try to get a day where all my friends can come over. And we play real life Among Us. I just ask them, you want to go for a match of real life Among Us? And they'd be like, How? I'm um, but I have all the trash. Um, I feel like my next video is gonna be recycle the trash task. Cause that one's easy, really easy. All you have to do is just get like three bottles or something, and then just throw it in the trash or something. I feel like that's what do we do? Right. Three, four, five of the prime shields done. We're already ten minutes into the video. Hopefully, 
someday I can get a good PC when I'm older. And then just like get a webcam, maybe a microphone. And then I just move my account to the PC and then yeah. I feel like I'm gonna need gray because this side is going to screw me. They're gonna be like, well, which side's which? I'm gonna be like, well, the brighter side is the side that's supposed to be on, and the darker one, or the red one, is off, white is on. One's on, I just made it green then. Well, they don't have it green, so I can't do that. I'm gonna have to go find a gray marker. I'm not even sure if I have one that works. This took me like a fat five minutes to just color all these sides. Not completely. Um, you guys wait here. I'm gonna go get a gray marker. Okay. This is not bright at all. This is not bright at all. It's dark as crap. But it'll have to do. Gray's on, red's off. I feel like I could just do prime shield. I feel like my room in the house is going to be shields. Because it's like the easiest spot. Because it's like I could just take the computer off. And we got freaking, what is it called? Just take the computer off the whole desk for prime shields. And I'm gonna do a crap where I make 10 little pieces of paper, like little squares. One's green, one's red. I tell them to flip it green when they completed the task. So like the paper that tells them what to do for the task, there should will be like a little green paper next to it. I mean, a red paper next to it. They have to turn that green when they're done with the task. Okay, we have two more left. I don't know how I'm gonna do outfits. I think I might just give them a sweatshirt or something. Or we could just have them keep their shirt on. If we already, like, if they have like a black, yellow, red, green shirt. Like, just like, one with the most colors is that color. Like if Brent has like a mainly black and a red and like a little bit red shirt, he'll be black. And then like if I have a mainly red and a little bit black shirt, I'll be red. 
that like that's how it's gonna go. But if somebody has made the same feature, we're gonna have to give them like a sweatish shirt or something. But if it's in that situation with me and someone else, I'll have the sweatshirt because I'll just be used to it. All right, prime shields are done. Now, when somebody does this test, they'll be like, okay. Like, you gotta make at least like two or three of them already on because like, when you do the test, some of them are already on. So you go, okay, um, I make, I'm gonna make them, I'm gonna put it say, use one hand, but do one at a time. And boom, we got our prime shields task. Now we gotta keep this safe somewhere, you know, like a plastic bag or something. So let's go find a plastic bag to keep it in. I'll have the marker on me so we can freaking write prime shields task in there. So task one. I'm gonna put the Prime Shields task right here. So I can find a plastic bag. It's 11.09. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Where does she get all of her Ziploc bags from? Ow. Okay. Where is the Ziploc bag? Mom? Where are the Ziploc bags at? Okay. Okay. So it's this one right here. So, because I put the scissors back where they were. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna grab it. We got one. We got one, ladies and gentlemen. Now we need my marker to write Prime Shields task. I need a better marker. I need a better marker. Nope, that's not gonna work. Cause I can just do that and it's gone. That marker don't even work. Prime Shields task number uno. Now we just need to open the plastic baggie and put the task in there. You know, I have a little bit more time. Let's go find that paper and let's make a red and green thing. I'm gonna put prime shields right here.
Red. Green. I like you, Kenji. I'm at my workstation. Something like a square, whatever. All right, then you make red completely. If we had construction paper, this would be so much easier. We just cut that out, we glue them together. Red side, so when it's not done, but when Mr. Tasky is done, task done. Task not done. I almost put the red wood on the green margin. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go put this with the Prime Shields task. Put this equipment away. And I'll be ready back. You guys just relax. Again. Where I'm gonna put this task. I think I'm gonna put it in um, the drawer down here. Definitely not right there. I have an idea where I'm gonna put it. Set that right there, see if I lose it or not. Shouldn't lose it. So, prime, it just says prime task, prime shield task number one. Alright, so this is gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you need to look back and see how I did it, you can. I'm gonna go get me some pizza before school. Bye.